Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now getting closer to the end of August of 2022 as we approach the Star Wars Andor series as well as the Bad Batch 2, Tales of the Jedi, and more to come by this fall as well. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars updates. Also, by the way, guys, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support. It is greatly appreciated. Now, one thing about the new Star Wars universe that I think a lot of fans should be very enthusiastic about is the fact that, yes, we do have John, George, and Dave working on all of the projects pretty much moving ahead, except for Skeleton Crew, all right? They're also working partially on the Acolyte with a total of five episodes out of nine, so that's another thing to be, you know, somewhat happy about. You know, it's very possible that that show now is going to be half and half, where... It's going to feel very mixed between what Kathleen Kennedy is forcing to do and what John and Dave, as well as George, are putting into the equation of that show. Now, that brings us to, of course, what's been going on with Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy. Now, we already know that behind the scenes, she's been having a lot of problems with the Acolyte series specifically and everything related to how Favreau got that big time promotion over at Lucasfilm, giving him a lot of creative power over pretty much all of the Star Wars projects, not just shows, but also comics, books, video games, you name it, etc. Now, with that being said, what's even all the more exciting has a lot to do with what recently happened with, of course, the Star Wars universe. Now, given that Favreau has an, a lot of creative pull now on pretty much everything moving forward, the Book of Boba Fett Season 2 is beginning, you know, so they're going to be fixing up the Boba Fett character quite a bit. There's a lot of things going on. However, when it all dwindles down to Kathleen Kennedy, with many new Star Wars projects currently in development by Disney and Lucasfilm, Currently, creators like Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are developing their new Star Wars TV shows that will be announced at this year's D23 and Disney Plus Day. Now, currently, Kathleen Kennedy has been having more trouble with the Acolyte series behind the scenes due to more setbacks taking place. However, in a recent interview with Kathleen Kennedy, she was able to talk more about the Star Wars fandom and the entire franchise. When Kathleen Kennedy decided to talk more about George Lucas, she went on to criticize his work, stating the following. Well, you see, when I look at George and we meet from time to time and have a number of disagreements, is that he needs to realize that the past is the past and that it's time to focus on the new. I am aware that he is aiding both John and Dave to evolve his philosophy, but that philosophy needs to be put on hold in order for this franchise to grow and to turn into something else. If there is one major critique that I have of George is that we would always have this complex conversation of letting go of the legacy characters. George would always tell me it's all about the Skywalkers and the characters that surround them, and that's what Star Wars is. George has had quite the influence on The Mandalorian, and one thing I did not fully support was the fact that he had convinced Favreau on how to bring in the Skywalkers, such as Luke into the story or others like Ahsoka. That actually was not my idea and call, and it was something pitched by George with Favreau to Disney, and they decided to run through with it. Me personally, I thought it was a very risky scenario to pursue and use in The Mandalorian, and I never really supported that vision. So let me just stop right here for one second. Now, Kathleen Kennedy obviously putting George Lucas on the hot seat here, pretty much telling him what's okay and what's not okay to do in Star Wars. Basically, what she's saying is that Star Wars should not acknowledge the Skywalkers. That's basically what she's saying, that George Lucas's philosophy needs to be let go, that it needs to be put on hold, as she said. And this, guys, I think it fully confirms now of why in the sequel trilogy, Luke Skywalker just got completely obliterated in The Last Jedi. There's no doubt about it that that was all agenda-driven to slowly strip away the Skywalker philosophy and George Lucas, you know, and his overall vision of what Star Wars stands for, to kind of slowly erase that bite by bite. Now, with that being said too, all right, Kathleen Kennedy also critiquing George Lucas quite a bit here and telling the fans that pretty much he had a lot of influence on how Luke was used in The Mandalorian. Not that he was the one that decided for Luke to come in, but George, yes, did 
have a lot of influence over how Luke was used in The Mandalorian. He spoke with Favreau, how it should be done, what direction they should go with, how long it should be, what's too little or too long, and they tweaked it quite a bit. And basically Kathleen Kennedy was not happy with Luke Skywalker entering into The Mandalorian. That's one thing that she did not like about George was how George made Luke such a main focus at the very end of The Mandalorian. And I think that there's a main reason why here. It's creating a contrast, all right? You can now see the differences between Kathleen Kennedy's take on Luke and George and John, as well as Dave's take on Skywalker. You know, you can see the contrast now, and Kathleen Kennedy does not like that. It's pretty apparent, it's very obvious, and it's pretty much, you know, just giving us the overall answer that we have been asking for so very long now. Moving on. Now, she goes on to say, it has come to my attention that they will be doing this even more with future seasons and shows, and that is their plan and something that I feel is best to cut back on and leave it behind. That was the one reason why we did not want George in with the sequels, was the over-focus on the Skywalkers and our concern is that this will happen with the Mandalorian story. Separate from what Kathleen Kennedy stated here, this all alludes to what's been going on behind the scenes of how Kennedy is having tons of issues with George getting involved with Favreau and Filoni on the future of Star Wars and how the Skywalkers will be a big focus once again. Lucas, Favreau, and Filoni believe the Skywalkers need to be the focus since they were not all that acknowledged in the sequel trilogy movies in the direct sense. Favreau is currently writing The Mandalorian 4, which will bring a major return of Luke Skywalker into the Mandoverse. Kennedy, however, is very frustrated over the fact that she has no creative power over any of this and for what Favreau and Filoni are building right now for the Star Wars community. So, to really make things all the more clear here, and I think this is something that a lot of fans need to be aware of, is the fact that Kathleen Kennedy also started this, you know, a very long time ago. This major grudge between herself and George. It's why George never attended the premiere of The Rise of Skywalker. It's why George refused to do any kind of press or interviews over at Star Wars Celebration of this year, of course, for the Kenobi series. I mean, a lot has been happening with George really not wanting to be anywhere near Kathleen Kennedy for that specific reason. She does not like what he does, she does not like his philosophy, and she does not like his take on Star Wars pretty much always surrounding the Skywalkers in some way, shape, or form. And you know what? Maybe some fans out there are going to have a point when they say they just want new characters only, and I get that, I understand that. But what George is aiming for is that the entire general sense of Star Wars surrounds the Skywalkers in some way, just as it did in Star Wars Legends. I mean, let's be real. The Star Wars Legends timeline, for the most part, except for the Old Republic and stuff like that, uh, it really went down the family tree of the Skywalkers. You had Luke, you had Ben Skywalker, you had Cole and Cade Skywalker, all these different characters that were down the family tree that took place well after the events of Return of the Jedi, by the way. So, overall, Kathleen Kennedy really giving a pretty bad review about George here, about his philosophy of Star Wars. Let me know what you guys have to say about all of this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.